Hello, Augies Worldwide, and welcome to another daily episode of our quarantine everyday video. Uh, I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, and this is episode number 259 of Ask Dave. And today we're going to continue taking a look at the Anytone ATD578 UV3 Pro uh, with Bluetooth <laughs> uh, mobile radio here. And what we're going to do today is just some simple power tests. I'm going to put a little plug in here for Bridgecom Systems. Bridgecom Systems is the supplier of the radio that we're using for testing. They are also the supplier in the United States of the Anytone radios and they provide full support for them. For example, when you buy the radio from them, you get something called Bridgecom University, which is access to a whole series of videos on how to use the radio, uh, both on analog and on DMR. I also plug them because they provide excellent phone support. Now they have told me, of course, that they can't afford to provide that support for people who don't buy the radios through them. The radios are available from other sources such as Ham Radio Outlet. But buy it from Bridgecom Systems. They'll do you a good job. The radio claims to have four power levels. On 2 meters it's 1 watt, 10 watts, 25, and 50. On 1.25 meters it just claims 5. On 70 centimeters it claims 1, 10, 25, and 40. And we're going to find a little bit of a surprise on the 220. I know because I've already run the tests. Uh, what I did was I went into the computer and I set up 12 channels. Each of those were an analog simplex channel. And here's the test setup. You can see on the left, I've got the PowerWorks SS30 dV power supply. So we've got about 13.8 to 14.1 volts applied to the radio. So we're going to get full power out. Okay, we've got the radio itself, uh, we've got um, the MFJ849 uh, digital SWR and watt meter, and then we have my ancient uh, Heathkit Cantana dummy load, which I have already checked uh, for SWR using an antenna analyzer uh, all the way up to uh, uh, 70 centimeters. It works very well, so it's a good dummy load at uh, those frequencies. So uh, here are the channels I set up, four for two meters, uh, one each at one watt, 10 watt, 25 watt, 50 watt. On uh, 220 or 1.25 meters, I set them up for uh, <laughs> one watt, uh, a low, medium, high, and turbo, and we're going to see what those turn out to be. And on 70 centimeters, set it out for 1 watt, 10 watt, 25 watt, and 40 watt. And let's dive in right now and see what the testing is. Okay, we're ready to go with the actual testing here. First one is 2 meters, 1 watt. Get 0.86 watts, SWR 1. Point zero. Let's go up now a channel to 10 watts. We get 9.59, that is 10 watts. Okay. 2 meters, 25 watts. 23.27 is very close. And now 2 meters, 50 watts. 54 watts. Look at that. Okay. Now, let's go to the 220 band, 1.25 meter, 1 watt, gives us 1.45 watts, and 5 watts, that says 7 there, okay. 10 watts, it's not going to do that, it's just going to give us the 7. doesn't matter if you put high in there, you're going to get the, the 5 watt. 40 watts? No. <laughs> so you can program that in there, but you're not going to get it. All right, let's go to 70 centimeter, 1 watt, 0.72. That's pretty close. 10 watts. It's up pretty close to 10. 25 watts. 
And you get 23.8, just about like we did on two meters. And if we do the turbo, and that'll only give us 40 watts. Well, 42, look at that. Well, that was fun. What did we learn? Well, we learned that the radio does what it says it will do. Um, the powers are, I would say, within the margin of error of the um, MFJ849 uh, SWR and power meter. And note that I do have it on the VHF settings. Um, this, it's not intended to be a laboratory grade meter, but you know, it actually comes pretty close. And on the turbo mode, it exceeds uh, uh, expectations there. So this is a powerful little radio. We learned that on uh, 1.25 meters, there is a low power setting. It'll give you about one and a quarter watts, something like that. The low power setting at one watt is intended for use with hot spots and some sort of internal maybe dummy load antenna. Of course, the 50 watts, it wants to sail free out there with your external antenna. So, uh, great test results and uh, another high five for this particular radio. And so that brings me to this. <laughs> Time to toot my own horn. Please take a look at decastler.com slash support. Go in there and pick a way that you can support the channel. Um, during this uh, period of time, uh, with so many people using the internet, I've noticed my own internet is slowing down. I tried to do Zoom today at the same time as my wife, and the results were mixed. Um, but... Uh, if you are having trouble watching the videos for your tech or general or extra license, you can order the thumb drives and I'll get those right out to you. I'll try and have them in either the same day or the next day's mail uh, out to you on Monday through Friday. Uh, Saturday and Sunday orders will go out on Monday. And we'll, man, this is a great opportunity to study for an upgrade. So that's the end of tooting my own horn. Until we next meet, 73.